that first grade. Cool, cool, yeah. Associated with the food. So is it when this sound goes off? Yes. Thank you. Good. So even with this right here, wait. All right, you can make them sit. This also helps with the impulse control. Sit. Sit. There we go. Good boy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You can feel that up, baby. Sit. Sit. Good. Okay. Good boy. And that's really the main thing with puppies. It's just impulse control. Like that's where, like a lot of people will go straight into commands. Sit down. This, this. And forget that. Just like a child, like. We can't really teach a child impulse control, but you know when we kind of say like, hey, sit down and do this. That's kind of like us trying to tell the kid just to practice sitting down for a second, right, you know? Right. So same thing with them. We got to teach them, hey, you can't fly out the door. Hernell, get to the house. You know you want probation. Hernell. Like the way he came out and, and pulled you just now. Yeah. Like he doesn't know how to just calm down for a second. Right. So teaching him door manners, making him wait, even with the crate, that's really how I practice impulse control. I don't even use my front door. I start with the crate. Wait. Wait. Good. Because that crate door is every door after that. As long as you can teach him wait not to come out, He's gonna think about coming out, and then you say wait, and he's gonna be like, oh, okay, once you teach it to him, right? Mm. And then now that door becomes your car door, your garage, your back door, if you have a deck, your deck, your front door, every door. Because mm. every time he tries to come out, you just close the gate, you just close the crate on him and say, wait, yeah. wait. So sometimes he's gonna have to bump his head the same way he was walking just now, and I make a U turn. He's gonna have to correct himself because when you're walking this way, you're gonna feel that pressure because I'm going this way. Because you can't see me no more. Yeah. So you don't know what I'm doing. So that's why I turn around. Yeah. Like you lost me. So hey, I'm going this way. Same thing with the crate. Now, if you decide to come out, we're just gonna close the crate and then you might hit your head. But mm -hmm. at least now, when, you're, when we open the crate, you're gonna look at us. A lot of times when we open the crate, the dogs are just like this, head down, right? But if we close the crate on their head, they're gonna look up and be like, Oh, you guys control this little door right here? Yeah. Let me watch you guys. And then that's when you can start saying, hey, wait. Yeah. Right? Let's take a step back. He tries to come back out, close the crate again, wait. And then that would set the tone for you for the day for you guys, literally. Because him coming out the crate is a start right there. He comes out excited. He's he's flying out the, the, the freaking crate. Now it's like, oh, I gotta get the leash, gotta, gotta get the exactly collar on. Yeah. Right? But if you could tell him, wait, now when you go to greet him at the crate, open it, wait, you can get the collar, put it on, put the yeah. leash on, you know, pet him, tell him you love him, and then start yeah. the day. Let's go. Yeah. You know, have a command for him to come out like, okay, that's my release command. So like, even with water, I make my dogs wait for water, food, everything. Yeah. Just so they can slow down and be like, let me check in with you before I just start making all these decisions, you know? Yeah. And then it makes, you get this type of, um, vibe from the adult. Yeah. Right? So then they'll start hanging out around you and look for you like, what's up, mom? Oh, I see a dog, but you need me to do anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need you to do it down. And then I'll pay you for it as well, you know? Like, boom. Like, right now he's calm? Yes. I'm gonna let him know, even though this is not a command, I'm letting him know it just pays to chill out. Right. Mm. You know? It, you, you, you hang out around us, great things still happen if you're calm. Now, if you're going buck wild and all that stuff, you already know, we're just gonna have the leash and we're gonna make you sit and I'm gonna make you sit a hundred times. If you get out that position, I'm gonna keep letting you know. Mm. Gotta sit, gotta sit, but I'm not gonna keep rewarding you. Yeah. When you hold it, you sit, then I'll reward you. Now he's yeah. like, oh, okay, if I sit here and just chill, yeah. great things happen. Like right now, I got his attention, you know? Now, if I take him for a walk right now, he might do a little pulling and stuff like that, but at least I know I could get him back with me. It's not going to be like how it was when we first started. Yeah. 
when we first started, I don't know, there's nothing I could have done to get him to check in with me. Unless yeah. I did a hundred U-turns. Like, boom, boom, boom. So I'd be out here all day. I'm gonna tell you, you blowing my mind right now, man. Yeah. yeah. Real talk. Keisha's just saying, and that's why, that's why you get a trainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs>